This is for our fans of the extraterrestrial. Coastal Carolina University recently announced its new space program. News 13's Hannah Huff Stickler was at the university today and spoke with the program leads about what this means for the school. Coastal aims to be the first university in the state of South Carolina to introduce this kind of program. They hope for the mini satellite they call SHANTSAT-1 to go into space in the spring or fall of 2027 where it will orbit for three to five years. Program lead Wes Hitt explains one exciting feature on the CubeSat that community members can interact with. Uh, there will be two cameras. One of them will be a selfie camera, so the satellite will be capable of taking selfies. But there will also be a display surface on the outer wall of that part of the satellite that can be seen in the selfie photo. And that's going to allow the community to interact with the satellite, to put text and images and things like that on it. So we see it's going to broaden the accessibility to space. People will be able to participate with space in a more direct way. The space program aims to help Horry County and the Grand Strand with managing coastal erosion, sea level rise, stormwater runoff, and other concerns critical to the coastal region of South Carolina. CCU Space is advised by seven matter experts, including NASA Langley Research Center, Maxar, and other corporate space systems. Another program lead for CCU Space, Robert Vipperman, explains why this new program will help coastal students in the future. We just feel like uh, it'll be such a benefit uh, for the students in, in this area uh, and open uh, a, lot of, a lot of doors uh, for them career-wise. Um, could produce, you know, hundreds, maybe a thousand or more uh, career opportunities because the breadth uh, that we're finding out uh, in this just small satellite development, it, it is covering the campus. The project will cost roughly $1.2 to $1.5 million. Reporting in Conway, Hannah Huffstickler, News 13.